One of the hallmark features of Harmony remotes is their one-button activity-based control. To understand one-button activities, consider this scenario. To watch Netflix on my Roku streaming player without Harmony, I would need to turn on my TV and set to input HDMI 1 using my Samsung remote. Then I would need to turn on my AV receiver and set the input DVD using my Denon remote. And finally, I would use my Roku remote to select my show in Netflix. Then while watching a show on Netflix, I would use the Roku remote to control the show and use my Denon remote to control the volume. When you consider that many of us have DVRs, game consoles, Blu-ray players, Apple TVs, and so on, things get pretty complicated pretty fast. Instead, with Harmony, I press a single button called Watch Roku. And Harmony automatically turns on my TV and sets the input, turns on my Denon receiver and sets the input, and automatically maps all my remote buttons to the right devices so that I can control my Netflix shows on the Roku, and change the volume on my receiver without switching between modes. So how do you create activities? Depending on which model of Harmony I have, I'll use either the MyHarmony web-based setup or the Harmony mobile app to create my activities. The order of the steps are a little different between the two, but the results are the same. In my Harmony, you'll first add all your devices. I have a pretty advanced setup here with nine different devices. Yours may be simpler. Next, depending on which devices you add, my Harmony will recommend different activities. Here, my Harmony knows I have a Roku, so it recommends the Roku activity. I confirm the different devices that I use to watch Netflix, my TV, my receiver, and my Roku, and choose which inputs each device needs to be on. HDMI 1 for my TV, DVD for my receiver. That's it. I'll repeat these steps from all my other activities and then sync these settings to my remote. Harmony remotes remember the previous states of your devices and know when to turn things on or off or switch their inputs. For activities to work correctly, here's a few important tips. Avoid manually controlling individual devices or using your original remotes. Disable HDMI CEC features on your devices. HDMI CEC is known by various brand names such as AnyNet Plus, Simplink, or BraviaLink. And finally, ensure your remote remains pointed at your devices until the activity startup is complete. This can easily take over 10 seconds and if your remote is pointed in the wrong direction, things can get out of sync. If any of your devices ever get out of sync, it's always best to use the on remote help feature rather than manually controlling the devices. Harmony will ask you some simple questions to get everything back in sync. Activity-based control is what makes a Harmony remote so much simpler. For more on Harmony remotes, visit us at www.myharmony.com. How to install a starter kit. Philips Hue is easy to install. It only takes a few minutes. Get your light bulbs, the bridge, and take out your phone. Make sure the power is off before twisting in your bulb. Then switch the power back on. Now it's time to set up the bridge. It's the heart of the Philips Hue system and it allows you to control your Philips Hue lights with Wi-Fi. Simply power up the bridge and connect it to your Wi-Fi router. Then wait for the three blue lights to come on. To control Philips Hue, you'll need to install the latest version of the Philips Hue app. You can easily find it in the Google Play or App Store. From there, you can connect the Philips Hue app to your bridge by tapping Setup and pressing the Link button on your bridge. Now you can program, control, and play with your lights in many different ways. Hue Personal Wireless Lighting. Innovation in you. Philips. Life moves fast, so no matter where you are, Amazon Key has got you covered. With all new in-garage delivery, monitoring, and remote access via the Amazon Key app. 
you can rest easy knowing that both your packages and your home are safe and secure. Prime members with MyQ-compatible garage door openers can opt into getting Amazon packages delivered right inside their garage. Amazon will authorize the delivery and securely open your garage door. You'll get a notification once your package is delivered and your garage is closed. Alexa, turn on the floor light. Okay. Alexa, turn off the webcam. Okay. Alexa, play my message. Hey, Isabella. This is Jaden. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Alexa, turn on the TV. My killer is coming back. Alexa, In volume down by 13 on TV. I'm going to be ready. Alexa, Chin Channel to Fox on TV. Welcome back to Hannity. President Trump has been very vocal about the unprecedented number of government leaks since taking office. And yesterday, the Senate Homeland Security and Government... Alexa, turn off the floor light and TV in half an hour. Today's homes are filled with connected devices. Creating a cohesive and seamless experience that ties all your devices together is now more important than ever. SmartThings is the easy way to turn your home into a smart home. Get started with the Samsung SmartThings Hub, the brain of your smart home. It wirelessly connects your devices and makes them work together. Control and manage hundreds of different compatible devices all through the SmartThings app. Receive alerts from connected devices, Automate them to turn on and off and create scenes like good morning and goodbye. You can even control your home with your voice by connecting SmartThings with voice assistants like Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. With the SmartThings motion sensor, know when there's unexpected movement in your home and receive alerts in real time right through your phone. Save yourself time and energy by letting your room know when you've entered and left without lifting a finger. And with a magnetic mount, you can place the sensor anywhere and direct it where you want it. The SmartThings multi-purpose sensor lets you know when doors and windows are opened or closed. Set automatic routines when you leave home. And set connected lights to turn on and off as you open doors and cabinets. Turn any ordinary household device into a smart device with a SmartThings outlet. Take control of your lights, electronics, and even small appliances, all from your smartphone. Or even get a little extra help from any compatible voice assistants. Take control of multiple connected devices with the touch of a SmartThings button. Place control of all your favorite scenes, settings, and devices within reach. Accidents don't happen conveniently. But whether you're close by or on the go, the SmartThings water leak sensor will alert you immediately so you can take action. Place the sensor under sinks, by water heaters, or other appliances. SmartThings, the easy way to turn your home into a smart home. <laughs>